The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one time he sat near the grave and then the soil under him became extremely wet. It became soaked with his tears. And then he says something for the companions to really think about. He said, لِمِثْلِ هَذَا فَعِدُّوهُ So something like this, prepare yourself for it. These things that we see right before our eyes, this grave that we've just buried, every single one of us, this is our final abode, guys. Every single one of us, this is our final destination. Uthman ibn Affan, sometimes the Jannah and the Nar used to be mentioned to him. The hellfire used to be mentioned to him, and also the paradise used to be mentioned to him. He never used to cry. But the moment the grave was mentioned, his beard would become, his beard would become soaked with tears. Why? Why would he cry? Because he said, and this qabr here, this grave here, awwal manazil al akhira. It is the first stages of the hereafter. If this goes well, everything else will go well as well. If it goes wrong, and one goes and struggles, once he's placed inside of this grave, everything else will be a struggle. One of the names of the hereafter, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us is, Yawmul Hasra, the day of regret. وَأَنذِرْهُمْ Yawmul Hasra. Warn them of the day of regret. Once you come on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, let me be straight up with every single one of you guys. Wallahi Al-Azim, your friends are not going to bring you out of this grave. Wallahi Al-Azim, your friends are not going to dig you out of this grave. They are not going to be there for you and no one's going to be able to do anything for you. My brothers, especially the young ones, this brother was 24 years old. 24 years old. We've lost two of our family members at the age of 24. For those who think, for those who think that death is only going to come to you at the age of 60 or at the age of 70, you are gravely mistaken. You are gravely mistaken. How often do we receive a reminder on social media saying, the guy said, I am going to repent. I am going to repent. He went to sleep and he never woke up. He went to sleep and he never woke up. Let this be a huge reminder to every single one of us. My brothers, for those who are not praying, go and pray. For those who have not been fasting, go and fast. For those who don't take their religion seriously, this is a reminder for us. This is a reminder for us, for us to start taking our religion seriously. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in the Quran, أَوَلَمْ نُعَمِّرْكُمْ مَا يَتَذَكَّرُ فِي مَنْ تَذَكَّرْ وَجَاءَكُمُ النَّذِيرُ Allah Azza wa Jal will say to the people of regret, and yes, the people of regret, on Yawm al Qiyamah will be a day of regret. Didn't we give you enough time? Didn't we give you enough time to take the reminder, to change your life around, to become a better person? And then a warner came with the reminder. The warner came with the warning. What was this warning that came to the people? Some of the scholars they mentioned, Mawtul Ahli wal Aqarib. The death of your loved ones and your relatives. We are upset. We are emotional. Some of us are shedding tears. But let me tell you one thing, guys. If you don't take this as a reminder, then wallahi, I don't know whenever anything will be a reminder for us. If we don't take this as a reminder, our brother, who was the age of 24, who passed away right before our eyes, who we now just buried at the age of 24, if we don't take this as a reminder, wallahi, I don't know what will ever soften up our hearts. حَتَّى إِذَا جَاءَ أَحَدَهُمُ الْمَوْتِ قَالَ رَبِّ ارْجِعُونَ when death came to them, they began to wish, beg Allah Azza wa Jal for a return. So I can go back and do righteous actions. So I can go back and do righteous actions. It's a day of regret. Every single one of us will regret. Every single one of us will beg Allah Azza wa Jal to go back so we can do a little bit more. So we can do just a little bit more. Take this as a reminder. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he cried next to the grave. The soil under him, it became soaked with his tears. Picture your Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam standing right beside you, telling you, get prepared for this. Sort yourself out before that death comes to you unexpectedly. Every single Eid, every single Eid, we hear about somebody who may have died an inappropriate death, or maybe a death that we would wish that wasn't the case. Every Eid, we hear about somebody who's died with maybe alcohol in his mouth. Maybe he was doing something that he wasn't doing. My brothers, please 
Take this as a reminder. Every now and again we hear about some of these bad endings that some of our brothers and some of our sisters have to go through. And then this, when we see this, we don't take it as a reminder. How many times does something like this have to happen in order for us to wake up? Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, Al-Nasu Niyam, the people are sleeping. Al-Nasu Niyamun, the people are sleeping. Hatta idha matu tabahu, the moment they die, that's when they wake up to reality. And then it is a little too late. It is a little too late. May Allah Azza wa Jal allow us to take this as a reminder. As the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, As-sa'idu li man itta'adha bi ghayrihi. The smart and intelligent individual is the one who when he sees things happening in front of him, he takes it as a reminder. How can I avoid this situation? How can I better myself so the following doesn't happen? So I don't find myself maybe doing that which others were doing. He takes it as a reminder. He doesn't just go to sleep. Somebody who's like an imma'a, who just follows everything and anything that people do. Because wallahi, these individuals that sometimes we might do things for, or we put our neck on the line for, wallahi al-azim, the moment we leave this world, it's only for a couple of days. Uh, that they post things on Twitter, on Facebook, on social media, and then you become nasiyan mansiyah. You become forgotten. Nobody remembers you except those loved ones who used to remind you all the time. Like your parents, sit here, don't go out, don't hang around with so-and-so, don't do this, don't do that. They are the only people who will care about you after your death in reality. Take this as a reminder. Take this as a reminder. وَيَوْمَ يَعَدُّ الظَّالِمُ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ يَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِ اتَّخَدْتُ مَعَ الرَّسُولِ سَبِيلًا Allah says in the Quran, the day when one will be brought on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, he's biting his nails, he's biting his nails, wishing that he followed the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya laytani lam attakhith fulanan khalila. One of the regrets he will have, if only I didn't take that individual as a friend, if only I didn't take that individual as a companion. I did some of the things he requested from me. He pulled me this way, he pulled me that way. That in reality is not going to benefit you. That in reality is not enough of an excuse in front of your Lord to justify what you are up to. Take this as a reminder. Go back home, think about it. And think about that post that I mentioned, where one, he reads from time to time, he wanted to repent, he wanted to repent, he went to sleep, and he never woke up. He wanted to repent. He went to sleep and he never woke up. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.